All right, guys, OFD checking in here tonight. As you guys can see, we have another Guanxin watch. Now, this is a collaboration piece with GearBest. As you guys know, I've done a few watches from GearBest, and I really like a lot of the things they're offering, and I've kind of found that Guanxin, this brand, is one of their uh, kind of really reliable, kind of top-tier brands. Now, all of their watches that I can see are basically homage pieces. Uh, I'm not going to say replicas because they are Guanxin branded and stuff like that. So, And this piece is no different. Now, this piece is uh, v based off a very, very famous uh, newer piece in the high-end uh, high watch uh, you know, industry and stuff like that. And so, uh, you know, if you can't afford it, in its, its original form, and you want something that's kind of an homage piece, this may be actually what you're looking for. I've seen a number of videos, guys, uh, on this watch. Uh, Just, one, Just One More Watch, excuse me, has done a video. And I think Watch On has also done a video of this piece. And I'll leave links down below uh, in the details, uh, in the description of the video, as uh, you know, to some of those videos. So let's go ahead and unpackage it. Standard Guanxin packaging here, guys. This is nothing uh, a fancy. It's pretty much what they do all the time. Uh, from what I'm aware of and it works really well. It's very simple and it doesn't need to be fancy at the price point you're going to find these watches at. Speaking of the price point, I think this watch is going to set you back right about $62 US. I will leave a link down below in the description as to where you can get this watch. So opening the box, as you guys can see here, we have this international warranty card from Guanxin. Now, I'm not really sure guys if you can actually use this outside of China but it is very nice. I think it's actually designed for maybe the Chinese retail market and stuff like that. So always included in the package with these guanxins is this nice little cleaning cloth. Now you're either going to see it in kind of this, uh, I think, bluish green color or this pink. I've always, I think, received the pink color, which I kind of like, kind of nice. So, And then you get your instruction manual and booklet here. I kind of gave you a little cheat on the face of the watch there, uh, but really cool stuff. So Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, if you guys know really high-end watches and, uh, you know, top-of-the-line stuff that's really expensive out there, and guys, forgive me for the boo-boo on my finger, always drill a, a pilot hole when you're doing woodwork. I didn't do that, and I got I had to pay for that. So, anyways, guys, if you guys know high-end watches out there, there is a company by the name of Nomos Glashut, and they make some amazing, amazing, beautiful watches and stuff like that. They make a watch called the Lambda, and the Lambda is an amazing watch, uh, 18 karat or white gold cases, I'm pretty sure, filigree and rhodium hands and stuff like, absolutely amazing, 84 hour power reserve, but the watch is $20,000, guys, and I think there's probably quite a few of us out there that can't afford a $20,000 watch. Enter the Guanxin here. This is a uh, I want to say an homage to that, obviously. Now, there's a few differences in this watch, and I will get into those as I go into the video. Uh, but it is a very nice representation of a simple, clean, and absolutely beautiful design. That's the way I'll put that, okay? So as you guys can see here on the dial, we have Guanxin since 1989 over here. That's where you'd have your Nomos glass shoot, usually. You have Energy Reserve over here and 35 students, which it stands for 35 hours in German, okay? Here up here at the 12 o'clock position, covering a large portion of the dial. I don't think quite as much as the Nomos Lambda, but is your power reserve function. Now on the Lambda, this is flipped. It's actually the other way around, and your low end is going to be over here on this side. But very beautifully done. This is a 35-hour power reserve watch, as you guys can see there on that power reserve indicator. Uh, you get your 0 to 35, obviously, as it drops down there into that red zone, letting you know, hey... The watch is almost out of power. Down here at the 6 o'clock position, as you guys can see, you have a date indicator, which the, the Nomos does not have. And you also have your running seconds on the dial there. Very smooth, uh, very nice the way that operates. And as we get into a little bit more, I'll show you how special it actually is. So in the case you have here what appears to be uh, I, I'm going to say I think this is actually stainless steel. The polishing that's done on it, there's no rippling or anything like that in it. And it's very, very nice. Uh, I mean, I really can't find anything to complain about. Now, I do have some sticky marks on there, finger marks and whatnot. Uh, forgive me for that, guys. But the polishing is absolutely spectacular on the watch. Very beautifully done. You have this case style here, as you guys can see, kind of a pie pan shape or a yeah, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Very beautifully done. You do have a, an embossed or engraved, yeah, it's embossed crown there with the the G for the Guangxin. 
nice diving uh, nice diving lugs here. This is a 22 millimeter lug opening. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get some of the dimensions out of the way for you guys here on the case size. I'm pretty sure this is going to come in around 42. And yeah, so we're looking at a 42 millimeter case, excuse me, not including the crown, of course. You're looking at a, at a lug to lug of 49.5, so just about 50, and a case thickness on this watch of 13 millimeters, 13.3 to be exact. So very nice dimensions on the watch. Uh, it's just a very nicely worn, oh, I didn't measure the lugs here. I do think they're 22. Oh, no, they're 20. It's a 20 millimeter lug opening, so cool. Now, this is an automatic movement in this watch. The uh, the Nomos is a hand wind only, and I'll go ahead and show you guys here. This is actually a uh, hacking and hand windable movement, so you can actually adjust the time on the watch there. I'll show you guys there going around, and you can see that this the second hand down here at the six o'clock position stops. So that's very nice. And I'll show you here, putting the crown in, watch the power reserve here in the center as I wind this watch. Now you can see it, look at that, wind right up. And I don't wanna overwind it, so I'll stop it right there. But you can see that you can just wind this watch right up, and that's very nice. And of course, pulling it out to the first position, now I'm in the PM mode, so I don't wanna really adjust the you never want to really adjust your date function once you're past 6 p.m. Uh, between 6 p.m. and 3 p.m., it's really not a good idea to adjust your date function on a watch. But at the first position, pulling it out, that is where you can actually adjust that date. And it's very nicely done, simple. So as I showed you, beautiful case polishing. You do get this leather strap on this band, uh, on this watch I'll show you here. It has the Guanxin logo there on the back. And you can see here, you get the genuine leather. Nice buckle, uh, polished on the top side here with the G, the Guanxin, uh, and it does look to like it's not polished on the bottom side, which is no big deal. Now let's go ahead and look at the case back here. You can see this uh, 22 jewel movement. This, from what I can tell, appears to be a Hongzhou movement. I'm not exactly sure what reference number or anything like that, but it is a 22 jewel movement, 35 hour, 36 hour power reserve. And on the back here, you can see uh, it says stainless steel five atmosphere guanxin and here we go this is an interesting one uh, what is that ter prog i have no idea what that says uh and rio is a stamp <laughs> i don't know what that means but and i'm assuming this is maybe a reference number to this watch what i'm going to do guys is leave you all the information to where you can get one of these down in the bottom uh, of the description there and you guys can pick one of these up really great deal on this watch i think you can get these for under 62 dollars or right around under 65 dollars they're really inexpensive and guys i've worn this watch for a couple of days and it's nice it's a really really nice watch i do believe you are looking at a domed mineral crystal here i did put a drop of water on it and uh it it held its shape you know but i i need to get one of those testers that test the uh the strength of that very simple dial layout here which is just you know part of that Bauhaus uh, movement and style and watches that's going on right now and simplicity uh, sometimes simple is better and I think Guan Xin has done a wonderful job in this watch guys definitely go check out the link down below if you are interested in Nomos Lambda but you just don't have an extra twenty thousand dollars laying around or seventeen thousand dollars depending on what you find them at I'm sure used, you could probably find one around 15, 14 to 15, which is a screaming deal. But if you don't have that right now, you can pick one of these up, which has that beautiful styling for around $62, something like that from Guanxin. Check the link down below in the description, guys. All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you have not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right, thanks, guys.